market passed by SC Securities and Daily Update. As usual, our effort is to bring you the expert insight for you to have a better pulse about the equity markets of Sri Lanka. John Gills Holdings PLC, one of the most prominent Sri Lankan conglomerate listed on the Colapo Stock Exchange. It is diversified over seven different industries. Today, our focus is on the property industry. And with the latest developments, this could become the priority and the highest contributing industry for John Gill's group. Let's find that out. To talk about that, we have with us today Mr. Naina Marvel Madhav, the president of property sector at John Gill's Holdings PLC. Naina, welcome to Market Pass. Thank you, Zerusha. Naina, to start off the conversation, uh, let's talk about uh, the property portfolio that you have under your management. Just give us a brief introduction to the portfolio. Sure, sure. So John Case Properties um, does two sides. We manage assets and we develop assets. Mm -hmm. um, the larger part of it is, is on the development where, we where we're developing obviously Cinnamon Life, Trizen, uh, and all the condominium developments uh, that we do across the city, right? Um, on the property management side, we manage all the John Keels Holdings offices. Uh, we manage the K-Zone malls, we manage Prescott Mall, uh, and we also manage Victoria Golf and Resort uh, and the Cinnamon Life office space. Uh, so we, we do a bit of both. Mm -hmm. uh, but the development is kind of the bigger bigger part of the business. That is the most... Uh, whole all, the new, all the new condominium developments, we've got a huge pipeline of stuff. And what is going on and what is uh, what you have finished uh, so far? So we've done, um, I think the market knows, we've done lots of projects with the largest developer in Sri Lanka, obviously, uh, with uh, Emperor, Monarch, Seventh Sense on 320 uh, in under our belt. Um, we've got Trizen under development. We can talk about that in little detail if you want. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's about a 900, eight, sorry, 890 unit development, large development in the, in the heart of the city. Uh, then we've got Cinnamon Life, which is a very, very large development as well. Uh, we're developing some holiday homes in um, in Candy at the Victoria Golf Resort. Uh, and we're just cooking up something else, which I can't tell you about, but okay. we will go to market soon, yes. Right. And uh, Nana, no, Cinnamon Life can be the, uh, that is the highest uh, investment, the private sector investment in the, the largest private the sector largest investment in Sri private Lanka, sector yes. Industry. yes. So um, that can become the catalyst for the future growth of John Keel's group as well. Uh, what is the current situation of the project and how do you see that? First, I want to correct. I think it, it will be probably the largest catalyst uh, for Sri Lanka, much further than John Keel's. Um, I think it's going well. So we have now you know, endured a very, very difficult period in the country, obviously. But despite that, we've completed a large chunk of this building. So the two residential towers are completed and occupied. The office building is completed and occupied. As you drive by Bharat Akshamath, you'll see the exterior of the building is now done. Uh, and we are just kind of tweaking the interiors and finishing up the interiors. So we'll be done very, very soon. Uh, and next calendar year, we will definitely be opening this thing up. Oh, what exactly in the building other than the residential and the office uh, complex? Uh, 800 hotel. room hotel, okay. uh, mall, convention center, and of course uh, a gaming facility as and well. And that is yet to be completed? That's oh. all part of this, the main, the main building. That mm -hmm. construction is ongoing at the moment, but it's really okay. in the final stages of construction now. And uh, Nana, where do you see the demand coming from for Sri Lanka's uh, property industry? and? Uh, in that case, where do you look at and what is your target market, especially with Cinnamon Life? <clears throat> with Cinnamon Life, uh, okay, so let me just take a step back. I think uh, the, the property market in Sri Lanka offers different things to different people, right? Um, you, you have projects like the Cinnamon Life, which are decidedly high end. Uh, and that tapers to a certain echelon of Sri Lanka, as well as uh, hopefully uh, some expat population as well, investing in. Uh, and we do expect when projects like Cinema Life take off, that we will start to get some Indian investment uh, potentially as well uh, into projects of this nature. Uh, so that's one segment of, of uh, demand. The second segment of demand is really kind of, uh, you know, domestic, high urban, uh, housing demand, which again is primarily domestic, 
but slightly more modestly priced uh, demand, which we see which was dry for the last year or so because of the economic crisis, but with interest rates coming down and the economy stabilizing, we, we see that actually kind of coming back quite strongly. And then there's the, kind of the suburban or the peri-urban uh, type of housing, um, which is even more maybe price sensitive. That's another third pool of demand. Uh, and the way we look at this is try to understand how the market will move, uh, what have what is happening in infrastructure that will drive certain things. Um, so, you know, John Keels is quite diversified in this. So we are able to play in multiple spaces, which is, I think, one of our strengths. Okay. And uh, does that mean you're looking at a niche market, like a high-end market for Cinnamon Life? Um, uh, d- or- Cinnamon Life is by definition high-end. Okay, so but uh, your target market is mostly India. Mostly, Sri- look, most of our buyers are Sri Lankan actually. Sri Lankan, yeah, yes. a good okay. chunk of them. I would say about 60, 65, 70 percent of them are Sri Lankan. Uh, we have quite a bit of uh, Sri Lankan expats and and a few, uh, I think maybe five to ten percent of true true foreign buying as well. But we expect that foreign buying to increase, particularly in. Um, Projects like Cinema Life, which are so unique, they're kind of once in a lifetime projects. Uh, so we expect the rest of it to really just kind of get mocked up, actually. And for the office complex, it's uh, the office. Sri we've Lanka. sold some floors, mm-hmm. um, and we've now got HCL in a landmark transaction. I think we announced about a year and a half ago. They've uh, occupied a good chunk of the building as well, uh, and they're, they're on a lease, lease basis. Yeah. And uh, also, Naina, no, no, now Cinnamon Life Complex includes a gaming facility as well. And uh, this is uh, uh, one topic that is talked about a lot uh, through media and newspaper coverages and everything. Um, so uh, at the moment that we have seen that you uh, are trying to attract uh, international gaming operators, to Cinnamon Life project, uh, what is the situation on that? So we, so we are anyway just developing the facility, and we will lease it out. Uh, but yes, we are discussing with uh, with various parties to bring uh, a, a strong international operator, uh, which this project is kind of purpose designed to have a large uh, gaming facility. So we are in discussions with multiple parties on this at the moment. And uh, what is the trend in property prices for Sri Lanka? Now we see in the market there's a lot of projects coming up, the housing projects. Uh, There are multiple projects coming up and uh, how the prices are behaving in in Sri Lanka? That's a good question. Look, I think in the last year, year and a half, Mm -hmm. um, prices kind of took a huge uptick. Uh, for multiple reasons, right? One is construction costs went a little ballistic um, with all the all the fluctuations in the currencies because foreign for construction is anyway exposed quite heavily to foreign uh, foreign buying, right? Because lots of raw materials are anyway procured from outside. Uh, so there was a there was a large uptick in construction cost, which is getting factored in to to projects. Um, and two, there was a big increase in taxes with the VAT and SSC uh, coming in as well, the social security levy, right? Uh, so that's a 17.5% on top of that. Uh, so with all these coming in, I think construction, sorry, housing prices probably went up 50, 60%. Uh, and for the last year, it's been difficult because I think pe- people's incomes has, haven't gone uh, and the country was in a relative kind of relatively chaotic situation. Um, but I see signs of that recovery happening and the price adjustment is kind of here to stay. It's not going to go away. So the market will effectually, effectively catch up with that pricing. So uh, prices are coming down? or I don't think prices will come down. I think, okay. uh, I think the price market prices will adjust to this new, new level. New demand. Because you can't, you can't build anything anywhere close to the prices that things are being sold now. Like if I was to do... Tries and again, it would probably cost me double to do it. Right. So you'd have to price it. And uh, you were talking about the taxes and uh, the recent tax reforms uh, introduced a uh, capital gains tax on property. Uh, how does that affect the property market? Actually, I don't think capital gains affected it that much, to be honest. I think the the, the VAT and the social security charge, I think that 
is it's a much larger thing because the ten percent on capital gain is just on the gain, uh, so it's really not that that bad actually. Unless you're a corporate, then you get taxed at a higher rate. But for individuals, it's really not an issue. And um, obviously, as you as you also mentioned, the high taxes and the high construction cost, and also the rupee fluctuations in you know in a different, different, difficult manner. Uh, all these factors can uh, affect the property market and also you had to manage these situations and what were your strategies to uh, manage these challenges, I would say? I think um, really two things. Um, one is just John Kills is a very, very strong company uh, with very, very disciplined management and governance. So we are very, very disciplined about planning. So exceptional planning uh, is number one. Number two is exceptional team. I think we have an amazing group of people uh, that have really just kind of hunkered down and got us through this. I and mean, we were in the peak of everything going on. I think our two sites, Trizen and Cinnamon Life, were the only two construction sites in Colombo, probably in the large part of Sri Lanka that were really running full steam. So I'm really proud of uh, my team really, uh, more than anything else about getting us through it. But I have to add, um, uh, you know, there's dark periods and people panic in dark periods. But I think those dark periods are kind of coming to an end, right? Um, uh, and again, you know, we've looked at this and said, look, how do you plan beyond these cycles? Because if you see now, inflation is coming down, interest rates are kind of coming off, um, you know, taxes again are quite high, perhaps as they should be. And then once again, real estate becomes like a really good place to put money uh, uh, and the fundamentals will shift. And, and again, if you just look at what this city is, we are still far behind the region in terms of you know, high density condominiumized development. Uh, that fundamental will shift. It's only a question of time. And I think that time, uh, you know, we've lost a couple of years. But there will definitely be catch up. So we're very, very confident on that. It's better times are yet to come. Absolutely. No, without a doubt. Without a doubt. And um, what is your projected contribution to John Keel's group from the property industry? You have to wait and see. Um, okay. You have to wait and see because we yeah. have... Lots of things, obviously, in the pipeline, Cinnamon Life will open. We'll have, you know, things happening there, which hopefully will have big uh, contributions. Um, and then in the new, the new project pipeline as well, um, there's lots of stuff that we're working on at the moment, uh, which will also start. So I think it'll be quite big, but wait and see. All right. Uh, and you were mentioning about uh, some upcoming projects as well. Anything that you can mention us? I can say is something wait for in it. the pipeline. All I can say is wait for it. Uh, okay. We'll 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 announce soon. We'll announce soon. Yeah, but uh, it's something we're working on. It's quite exciting. Um, yeah, we're very excited. You just have to wait for it. I can't tell you. Okay. <laughs> and uh, what about the current situation of the Trison project? Now we have talked about the Cinnamon Life project uh, quite a lot. Yeah, uh, Trison is going very well. Um, we. We're, we're about 75% sold. Um, we're about six months away from completion. Um, and it's, you know, it's been received exceptionally well from the market, actually. Uh, and it's, it's, I think it's going to be another game changer for, for Colombo. So it's going very, very well. The occupancy is... Um, we're about 75% sold now. 75% sold. Yeah. And yeah. there's 25% more to go yeah. and that uh, you expect to finish. Yeah. Quite Without, so. yeah, within the next year, year and a half, we'll be done. So that means definitely there are some new projects in the yeah, pipeline. So we can't sit on our hands. No? We'll, we'll be finishing finishing that, finishing Cinema Life. So yeah, we're not going to sit on our hands and wait. All right, yeah. great. And uh, last but not least, uh, what do you have to say to the shareholders of the John Keels Holdings PLC as the uh, president of one of the main industries managed mm -hmm. under John Keels Group? What can they expect in the future? It's a good question. Um, good things. Uh, I think I would say thank you for being patient. Uh, good times ahead. Just keep it at that. Keep it at that for now. Yeah. You want to keep everything very suspicious for, and uh, everyone has to be yeah, patient. Yeah, good things, good things come future. to those who wait. 
<laughs> All right, that yeah. that sounds great, and uh, I think that is kind of uh, a light at the tunnel at the end of the tunnel, no, and we are at uh, the recovery it's a stage. Light. And it's not like it's a, a little light; it's like a glaring light at the end of the tunnel. I'm very optimistic. Okay. And the country is in the path of recovery. And now uh, we have talked about the property industry of John Keels Holdings PLC, one of the most uh, prominent industries managed under John Keels Holdings. And I hope that uh, as shareholders and as uh, Sri Lankan citizens, you have got a good idea and understanding about the property industry of the John Keels Holdings and also property industry of Sri Lanka and what the future would look like. And uh, thank you very much, Nayana, for Nisha. finding time in your busy schedule and uh, spending time with us and also sharing great insights with us. Uh, with that, uh, we will end the session and we will meet again with another exciting episode. Thank you for watching Market Pulse. For more latest news, subscribe to FTTV.